turn it on. Thank you. I forgot to turn it on. We're recording now. We're live. Okay. Committee members. Dave Pernatz. Here. Richard Handelsman. Here. Jerry Sutton. Here. Uh, Stewart. Yep. Also. Here. Patricia. Here. Joanne. I'm here. Me. And we have a quorum. All right. Uh, we proceed to the agenda. Uh, the minutes. Has everybody read the minutes? Any corrections or uh, I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes as presented. I move. Second. 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 Okay. Motion made by uh, David, seconded by Jerry. Second. Anybody opposed? Here he is. Thank you. Good. So moved. Uh, we established a quorum. We reviewed the minutes on the. We're going to go to the our Donald, our Cam for security cameras and access masters proposal. All right, hello everyone. Uh, this past month we had three incidents of thefts in the village. One involving a motorcycle, another involving a car, and a third involving a bicycle. In all three cases, PDSO was able to solve the cases and retrieve the items. Um, Partially through our the use of our cameras, um, and and the cameras range from our flock safety cameras, which we originally installed, which are amazing, um, our regular cameras at the at the, at the guard houses, and in one case with the bicycle, we were able to solve with um, these uh, cheap little stealth cameras that we have all along the uh, fence line. Uh, so these cameras are an effective way to keep the place safe. Uh, in the after the, the, these three instances, one of one of the detectives that was involved, Detective Schilling, um, recommended that some of our older cameras be replaced with newer cameras that will have a better uh, resolution, so they'll be able to see faces. Right. Yeah. Um, so uh, we we got a proposal for replacement of these cameras. Uh, this is from Access Masters. They've been a sole source vendor for us for many years. Mostly because whatever they install has to um, work with our ABDI system. Uh, the proposal in front of you is for $4,897 and therefore three new cameras. And these are replacements. These are, this, this, this is nothing new. Uh, I won't even pretend to understand uh, the, the specifications on these things. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, we we trust this vendor, and um, it's basically all I have to say about it. Um, it's really just maintenance. We're replacing something that's kind of worn out. Right? I'm happy to answer any questions as long as they're not technical. Yes, Joe. He did. So, um, so a lot of cars have really dark tint and it's hard to see in them. Yes, yeah, that's where handle this. That's okay. what the detective so showing said in one case. Um, he wasn't able to see through the windows. Mm -hmm. um, so Even the front window, it's difficult. It's exactly. To you know, the so uh, is it going to solve the problem? I really don't know. Okay. Um, it's, but it, it's just basically a newer version. And these things do lose resolution all the time. Yeah. Just just being out in the weather. Yeah. And Otherwise, so, I think it's a great idea. I mean, some of this mm -hmm. stuff is, I got to say, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, David, there's a total of five different cameras. Uh, I believe we have three. I'll read number one and I get down to number three. Oh, yeah, fair enough. This five total, well, not three. Oh, five. Could we prove two new ones less? Yes, mm -hmm. and, I, yeah. and I've confirmed that there's no overlap. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. So yes. that was two last month and now there's three this month. Five, that's so five, five. five this month. Yeah. 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 So we'll pretty much we're replacing, replacing it. Replacing it. Thank you. Yes, no, I'm sorry about that. Yes, there were, there were five to end of the question. Yes, David. Um, one observation first. Um, the, you know, four megapixel is, is, is not a really great resolution in today's, you know, state of the right. You know, uh, iPhone, my old phone older, iPhone right. X is 12 megapixel on, on one side and six on the other. There's a selfie, you know. Um, 
if we're going to do it, um, you know, I'm looking at 4897 for the cost of this. Right. The cost of, of the cameras isn't a big chunk of that. That if, if you go on Amazon, that first one in the N45 DJ62, yes. you can pick up $109 on Amazon. So yeah, this is kind of say we've actually bought from these ourselves and have yeah, what I'm trying to say is, is that the cameras aren't the big ticket of this. It's the installation and the wiring. And it's not going to increase the cost of it a whole lot to, to jump up, you know, to a camera that's twice the price. You know, hey, what? Let's get the uh, let's get the on front. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, well, access masters. The the issue here, the insta the installation, the wiring is already there. All we're doing is upgrading. The camera, and if we're just doing cameras, then one of them is only a hundred bucks. This is pretty steep price. Yeah. Um, you know, and you know, it's again the same thing I try to bring up is that we really ought to be getting at least one more bid on this. Well, we've yeah. uh, we've heard that obviously we've discussed this before. Access Masters has essentially become a sole source vendor. Uh, mostly. Hey, how are you? Good. Listen, I'm in a I'm in a board meeting. You think I could talk to Mike briefly? The board has some questions for him about about a, uh, a proposal. Uh, yeah, if he can in the next okay. minutes, ten minutes or so, I have to thank you. Thank you. Okay, we just want to ask him a question about the project. Yes, please. And I'm in a meeting, so it's kind of time sensitive. Okay. All, All right. right. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Back. So yeah, can we can we go to the vendors? Sure. Um, but this vendor works with ABDI, and there's a lot of uh, interplay with that. Where basically we've made ourselves a sole a sole source vendor. If you want to, you know, go with a whole new vendor, you know, to, to service this system, which is pretty. Complex. I don't pretend to understand the complexities of it. Um, that would be a diff that would be a whole different thing. Yeah, right? you know, the thought is, is, is to talk to ABDI it's just, and, and ask them what other vendors they work there. Probably. We 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 got this vendor to ABDI. Yeah. You know, but if they have any others that they recommend, sometimes getting another bid is it, 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 it has the value that um you know that that. Access masters when they know we have another bid coming and they they may shut up their pencil a little bit so, and you know I, I I never have a problem you know with your recommendations which are always good uh, uh, saying well we got this other bid and it was only a little bit less I like these guys so we we go with not the lowest bidder uh, but you know I just I'm just concerned that if if, if I'm talking on a hundred nine dollar camera for the one, I didn't check the price with any well, others. Um, that, that's the cheapest. Well, okay. Yeah, but I stand corrected. They're actually doing wiring. Okay. They're actually running yeah. low voltage wiring and uh, they're, uh, I guess, wet locations wiring wherever mm -hmm. it's going to an artificial intelligence network, video recording in the guardhouse. So, so you know, there, you know, there's where the the price of it is probably. But you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, how much is it going to cost for a higher rate resolution camera? I can make you know. I mean, if we don't hear from him during this meeting, yeah, I'm making you know, inquiries. I mean, I, 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 if, I'm, if we're spending forty eight ninety seven, and, and a lot of it probably wiring the time with hooking it up and everything, that make make better sense to me. But if for Five hundred dollars more, you can have something that it's more state of the art resolution than, than just one megapixel. Um, you know, why not? You know, I look sometimes on TV and it, it'll flash picture. I think I got a lost back, and it will be very coarse and green. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm good. Listen, I'm in. I'm in. A, I'm in a big committee meeting, and uh, one of our members has a question about. Your, your proposal, and I'm just gonna just gonna let him pick up it. All right, his name is um, David, David, David <laughs> Fornis. Hang on one second, okay? Yeah, yeah. I just just a quick question for you is I, I was looking at your proposal and and the uh, 
the megapixel resolution for the cameras you're recommending is, is just four megapixel. And, and I was kind of comparing that offhand with, with my iPhone 10, which is like three versions older. It, it's a 12 megapixel. I think. So I, I'm just wondering uh, how much more it would cost us and if there is availability of, of a little bit higher resolution camera, since that really is, is what's going to produce the product that we need at the end. A four megapixel camera of many hybrid resolution and the quality is the same. You can very much quality. You will never have enough case for the recording device. Okay. Okay. Four megapixel. Okay, uh, is, is, is there something between four and twelve that would give us more? Or we would still talk in the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, now we can have a discussion. You have a motion and we have a second. I know we always do that. I just have a comment. Um, I put it in discussion. Can we expedite getting this done because it's we're coming into season here? I was here when the yeah, PBS well, was, was the PBS I was here, and it's very, very important to them because it's been such a big help. Just the flock alone, this will double the, what flock has done, and. Um, if we just expedite it because we're getting into that time of year where you know hopefully um it'll help us as we get busy. But my that's my only comment that I was here for when this whole discussion started a week or so ago. So um, I, I looked to expedite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, but why look like this? You know, <laughs> But well, given the time of year, yeah. um, it would be helpful, I think, and, and given the current circumstances of the world that we're in, I think having more security is so critical. Having been there with you and with Daniel and the PBSO, uh, I made it, I, I told Daniel, please notify Donald right away of what the PBSO was thinks would help us and help them. Right. So, and he yeah, acted yeah. right away on it, boom, yeah. it was done. So, yeah. I, I mean, it's less than two weeks and right. we already have a proposal and we're voting on it. Right. So it, it's, we're not sleeping on it. 
any other discussion on this motion? Uh, I just in the future, I'm going to keep harping on the fact that we should be doing this whenever possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we're going on the chair of this committee, we push very hard to have Well, the, the, the issue that you have here is you have a sole vendor that has almost a monopoly on, on this particular system. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whether it's the barcodes, the cameras, and, and, and to replace them would, would cost an astronomical <clears throat> amount of money. Right. Okay. Well, good. No, I, and, that, and that makes it that makes perfect I mean, sense none, to me. None of us like a monopoly on anything. Yeah. Right? But this vendor, who, by the way, here before this is before I started working here. Um, it's he came in with ABDI. That's how I think. Um, basically, he understands the ins and outs of the system. Right. It would take I don't know how. You know, could we bring three kings in? Absolutely. Um, and then we would have to figure that out. It would take a lot. Well, and, and, I, and I trust your judgment. And, and I'm sorry that I keep asking the claim no, on that. No, that's all. But, that's what but, I but, but, you know, I, I you know, it, it was great to get the vendor on the phone and, and get clarification. And, and I, I'm, cool. I'm comfortable. It's cool to be I'm right. comfortable. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. We had a situation uh, about a month and a half ago where uh, we were having a problem with the barcodes, mm -hmm. getting them. And Donald and I spoke to the vendor and we said, listen, can you do any better than what we got? Right. And he goes, yeah, they triple the cost. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, yeah. so right. right now we're spending $8.50 per barcode. We're selling it for 10. Now imagine charging people $20 yes. to get a better reading system. Right. That's what he said. Right. So, no. And, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it's not cost effective to... To us or to the to the individual, so we kind of like got to live with what we got. And right. to be fair, this vendor is for as long as I've worked here. His uh, his responses are instantaneous. Um, he solves whatever. I mean, some of these problems I don't even can't even begin to understand what yeah. what's involved. I try, but oh, yeah. I'm not that bad, right? Um, no, they jump right on stuff. They they do good good search. And then security is key for here. You know, we, yeah, if we have face magic here, all right, recent right. history. So well, I'm in favor of life that's horrible. Well, call the question, David. It's up to you now. Okay, accept proposal from Access Masters number 5176, five cameras plus installation, $4,897. Uh, motion by Jerry Todd, Dr. Chris Caputo, and David Fornas. Yes. Richard Handelsman. Yes. Fornas, go on. Well, maybe he's back. We can't see him anymore. Jerry and Todd. Yes. Dominic. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Fausto. Yes. Patricia. Yes. Joanne. Yes. And I shall vote yes. Motion carriage. All right, guys, let's move on to the next proposal. Right. Um, I'd like you to go to the last two pages of this stack first. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. Um, in the first picture, we're looking at the outbound lane on, on Century Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, this ponding problem is uh, the lesser of the two big ones. Oh, wow. Now, this was an engineered project when we put in the, uh, when we put in the sidewalk. Uh, I suspect that if this was the only problem, this would be something we can do without engineering. Um, but we have a bigger problem on the other side of the street. Um, see this lake here. Um, and this is where people are coming into the, into the village. They're speedy. Um, you also have a, a, a well-used walk, uh, a crosswalk at this spot. Um, Dominic and I took a close look at this. Um, we don't think that this is something that we could DYI. This needs to be engineered, particularly with the amount of traffic that's going through here and the liability mm -hmm. risk. Um, I'm not sure what the uh, what the fix is here. I think that it maybe it'll involve a pipe draining this, this this water off to the uh, to the closest real deal storm drain, which would which would lead to the, to the waterways. Um, as far as the vendor. Is it not a no. Um, no. It, we believe that's a French name. Oh. Um, anyway, the worst spot possible. Um, 
And by the way, just uh, for everybody's uh, knowledge, typically engineers are not subject to competitive bidding. Um, how did I bring you this vendor? Well, this vendor uh, specializes in stormwater, and um, they did some work for us back in 2018, which was the last time we had this much rain. Um, so, so I brought them back, and uh, they took a look. There's some other little ponding problems up and down that street, and that's <laughs> part of the proposal. Um, this vendor is going to, uh, this engineer is going to put together a plan to uh, solve the drainage problems. They will, um, they'll do a, uh, essentially create the RFP for us with the quantities less than the scope of work. This way, when we did it out to three, ven three vendors, um, it'll be apples, apples, and, and apples, right? Um, the engineer's fee for putting this together is $9,500. There is an additional charge because we're gonna to need to do a, a survey. Um, this is the surveyor that this uh, engineer works with. Um, I'm not familiar with it, but the survey. And the surveyor's fee is $5,400. So in total, we're looking at Wait. 14 9 15 or 15k you have to uh get this plan going once once this uh plan gets back to us then we're back to uh selecting three three vendors um which you guys will be involved with and then just like the sidewalk project it'll be you guys will uh, Select the vendor and one of the three, and uh, we'll go from there. Does anybody have any questions about the actual uh, issues that we're dealing with here, the ponding? And... No, that's not. Yeah, just, you know, there, there is also one in the corner of uh, where you cross. Yes. You know, uh, yep. by the four corners. Yep. By, on the golf course side. Uh, we made it clear that we want all of the. Uh, Got it. Pretty much this whole stretch from 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 what you're describing yeah. to the panel. I just don't see where you have a choice here. I think it has to be done. And I basically, especially with the, where you're showing the incoming traffic with that big, you know, you know, the, the longer you let it go, the more trouble it's going to cause. Yeah, yeah. And it's like much. as you said, people may speed in sometimes, but that, you have that crosswalk there, you have all that flooding there. So I, I just don't see where you have a choice. I mean, and, I um, just, just so everybody understands um, how this happened, um, we put this uh, we put this curb in, uh, I think last year or year before, yeah, um, last year. and we elected not to engineer this project. And the thinking at the time was, worst that can happen is there's a bloody problem yes, and we have to hire an engineer. Right. And <laughs> second, well, you can't even hand down the rope. Yeah. 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 I mean, it turned out fine. I mean, there were, you know, come ins were put in, you know, for, for DOT specs, but okay. um, we'll get the hire an engineer. So, okay. We did spend it then, we're going to spend it now. Would somebody like to make a motion? Patricia well, Lane function. And seconded by Stuart Richie. If I get this correct, is that one, one proposal for? Yeah, for, for, for this is sort of a stretch. And, and they wrote a little comment. The proposal is that from? Storm. Uh, Stormwater engineer. Mm -hmm. okay. And Timmy, Timothy M. Smith land survey. Okay, you can tell them in the control. It's there. It's there. There's two. No, for the motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and a total of fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars, sure. Who made the motion? Patricia made the motion, and it was seconded by Stewart. So discussion. Yeah, yeah. Now we have a motion. We have a second, and we can discuss it. Um, you, you know what? Okay. Keep in mind that you know as their job of the big committee. It isn't as much deciding whether it's needed or not that that's the officers and everything. Well, we're looking at the, the specs of, of the bid and the proposal, right? That they're that, that they're written well enough to protect our interests, and that we're going to get what we, we want to get out of it. Well, that's what Donald said, and they're going to give us an RFP outline. No, so no, that we can send it no, out. He's to bid. About, I'm, I'm talking about what. 
what the uh, stormwater engineering is saying to provide to us. Well, we're just we're just looking at the technical part of their proposal and the technical part of the surveyor's proposal. And if that meets good business practices and, and it's good business the way it's written. In other words, if if it wasn't explicit enough about what they were going to do, what the deliverable was, what the scope of work was, then that's where the big committee comes into play and, and, and passes our judgment on that. Not, not as much whether we need it or not, which is important, but that's not what the committee was set up for. Right. And looking over this package, I feel comfortable with the scope yeah, and the deliverables are spelled out well enough. And yeah, they are. And that, yeah, and that, and that I, I'd be comfortable with it. And, and you know, kind of glad you're back. Well, but, uh, yeah, and, and, and I, one, one clarification, real no I'm not looking to be chair of the committee. No, no, no. I'm just looking to be a member of taking my two. Oh, no, but, no, but, no. but one of the things that I kind of rely on you guys as committee to do is to both read these documents for me because it's very, very time consuming. Well, um, look what happened on the last proposal. I, I said, yeah, yeah, three, I, I saw three pictures of cameras, and, you know, but it turns out it's fine. Right. Well, that, that, right. that means something, right? It's important. Um, that's your job. Yeah, yeah and, and, and I appreciate it. That's, that's, all I that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. No, what you said makes sense because uh, <clears throat> that's a prequel of getting the, uh, getting the job underway. We have to have somebody know what they're doing to tell us this is what has to be done. Okay. We have to have the faith in them. And then when we get their results, then we move on to having the work done. Exactly. And yeah. I, I, no, no, I, 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 I know all of, I know all of you here well enough and, and very impressed with with your abilities. We, we just need to all focus on no you have problems sure. but are there are there any other questions? Mm -hmm. Can we call the vote? David, please. Okay, David Parnassi. Yes. <laughs> Richard handles me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Dominic. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Fausto. Yes. Yes. Joanne. Yes. David. Yes. Motion carry. Okay, thank you. Next on the agenda, update on South Canal. Donald, that's I got, you. I got a few updates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good. No, nothing. Uh, first is last last month, you guys watched a uh, Jack, a Jack Lusso video of, uh, of another water storm pipe. There was a catfish in there that was so big, I thought it was a link or a cusk. He was huge. Um, anyway, uh, Monday is the is the uh, scheduled date to get that that pipe lined. Once that's done, you're gonna have to bring back the, uh, the paving company and, and get that uh, and get that uh, depression straightened out. Uh, second thing is South Canal. Um, next Tuesday is the scheduled start for the uh, for the survey. The late survey is going to be a Wallace survey, who's worked for us before. Once that survey is done, that goes back to the engineer, and then the engineer completes his um, engineering plan. For uh, dredging the uh, dredging the canal again, the engineers uh, part of his job is to uh, create a scope of work, create specifications, quantities, and um, this would this would be uh, given out to three vendors. <coughs> this is a big ticket project. You're all going to be involved in this. Um, one of one of the vendors I've already had look at the job is Shenandoah. They're the ones that uh, that dredged out South Lagoon. For, for WPRF last year, um, but we're not great. Um, one more thing, and I guess you can call this infrastructure. Um, we've all gotten um, inquiries about holiday lights at the entrances to, to, to Century Village. Um, I think we're all in agreement that we're not looking to spend big money on that, but no. people want it. Um, what I've decided to do is ask uh, Glow to put up some, um, just some very basic white lights, icicle lights, something like that on, on our uh, two guard houses, white, and um, maybe something on the bushes. They have these lights that are like a net. You just throw them off the bush and very simple. Um, also looking at um, 
So happy static, holidays. Yeah, some static static rope like things that say happy holidays. Maybe we'll put those at uh, to, the two meetings coming in. Um, I guess you could call an infrastructure. So I figure I'll let you guys know. Mm -hmm. um, Home Depot's got them for one hundred twenty nine dollars. Yeah, that's my thing. And yeah. you know, just something I could store without having to worry about. And uh, I, I was going to go to Home Depot, Depot and just take a look at it. <laughs> Well, if they're big enough, you like them, just buy them. Well, that's, like they that's not the point. I just, okay. the one thing is to see the picture and another thing to actually see the song. But I'll have to don't try to help me out there. Uh, I can't even get the electrician to do it. They won't do right. it unless there's some kind of special insurance or whatever. So that's just fine. That's it. And that's all I got, guys, unless you guys have anything, anything for me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. It's <laughs> nice to be back. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to be here while you were watching that. Jack, yeah. oh, okay. that video. Did you ever get that um, quiet clean thing? Ah, good one. Know? Good catch. The quiet clean uh, uh, is not done yet. Henry Handler, who's the attorney for uh, uh, the mm -hmm. board, is um, or, or Cultural Homes, okay. is working on it. Um, he has not come back with a uh, first thing I did uh, this Monday is ask for that. Uh, okay. and, Michael Caputo, the president of that company, asked as well. I haven't got a response back yet, but I know it's, it's going on and he's working on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, the starting services in Ontario, the bridge issue is going to become an issue again. Yeah, let's talk about that. 100% sure. All mm right, -hmm. just so everybody understands um, North Canal, which stretches on the, you know, from the turnpike to, to Abbey Hill Road, um, Utah doesn't own it. It's connected to Utah's mm -hmm. waterway system. We're going to have to figure out. How to get control of that and dread it at some future point. Um, that's something that's being worked on right now. We've got uh, uh, Rod Tennyson and Rod Sundell working on it, and we're also going to be talking to another attorney um, very soon about strategies of uh, either to get control of it somehow and, and do it in a few to normal amount of money or get someone yeah, to dredge that yeah. cast before it becomes a problem. Um, you just saw the harbinger of. of the problem when you saw that video uh, during that storm, the uh, that canal got so high, and that and since now it doesn't hold as much water as it used to mm. because it's partially filled in, the water <clears throat> went straight up that pipe, completely filled the pipe, and the pipes that pipe is not made to hold all of that water. Right? Mm. It's drip. It's it's the culvert pipe, and it basically smashed all along all along the spine. Um, that's the beginning. Um, if it had been a bigger storm or more rain, water would have been coming out of the catch base. Yeah. Um, that's not going to get any better. Uh, sooner or later, later or sooner, we're going to have to get that that canal dredge. Is another problem. Um, there is a uh, old causeway footbridge well, that, that goes over that canal from the Sheffield section for Kirk Street over to Anche Shalom. Um, Undoubtedly, Mr. Levy put that in. There's no record of any permits for it. It's all the, it's all the ground that's um, owned by a defunct Mr. Levy company and an old um, roadway easement that nobody wants to claim. It's a mess. Um, back in about, I think, 2013, I discovered that it was unsafe to walk on that bridge. So I, I basically uh, cleansed it off so nobody could use it. It's got holes in it. Uh, the, uh, the new people that are uh, uh, attending and running Anshay Shalom want it back. Well, that's tough. I'm, I mean, it's not ours. It's unsafe. And it's going to take months, if not years, for that matter to be straightened out. Um, I've communicated with this congregation. I've explained to them that we want them to have the bridge. Um, everybody loves the bridge. But this is not something that's going to be solved overnight. All right, it's a sticky situation. Um, so there's some um, unhappiness over it. Um, I hear that the uh, the scuttle buddies at Yuko doesn't want us to have it. Um, I'm hearing the that's true. Uh, that's anti true. Anti that's true. you know, the, the whatnot. We, we can't get a permit. We can't exactly. We can't yeah. pull a permit. Yeah. 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 permit. Well, we don't foolish to do it without a permit. And we don't own it. There's absolutely no way. Well, the the the, the scuttlebutt on on the hotline is uh, uh, that that there's um, 
somehow Yuko's got a hand in not making this thing happen. And of course, it's not true. Now, I've invited this group to come in several times. Um, they can talk to us, they can talk to our attorney. Um, but I want to let you guys know. So, there's, you know, if you hear anything, that's yeah, what's well, going on. I was going to tell Donald because I, I, yeah. I get a call and, uh, and, and, and they, have, they have this chat line. And on the chat line, they talk about, you know, Opening on Shay Shalom and it was the bridge, and Yuko is not letting them open the bridge. And, that, that. and I explained to them it's not Yuko, this is a legal issue, right. and it's not nothing to do with Yuko. And, and I said, You guys want to come in, if you set up a meeting, I'll even sit with you and right. we'll explain to you what's going on here. Right. You, you, you can't think, you can't do something uh, on your own and think you're going to get away with it. That's basically what I said. You, you yeah. can't because right. they're ready to you know, they're ready to go. Because we're losing people by not opening the bridge. Well, you know I'm what? Down, I'm down. You know what? Would you rather lose people another way? Yeah, yeah, right. That's true. Right. And, 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 and you know, the bridge, to be wow. fair, you go did uh, close off that that, that bridge because I did. Yeah. yeah right. Okay. But the, yeah, the, yeah, but there's not, it's not an yeah. anti-Semitic yeah. thing that you did. You know, no, this whole thing now, which it is. It's an angle thing. thing. Yes. Uh, uh, Joanne, one question. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Can we? Or would we be amenable as a as a group to offer them the same type of easement that they have for the gate to the parking lot? They have an easement to our property. Can't we just offer them an easement to build that bridge in that location? And, and easement, yes, and yeah. e and ease, and easement is giving away a portion of your bundle of rights exactly. to the land. If and you don't exactly. own the land, you don't have no so rights. You don't own the land. land. An easement for our piece of the three feet along the edge of, of the canal or jetch, whatever you call it. Yeah. Or give them well, an easement to but use access at that specific location, which is exactly like what they have at the at the uh, yeah. gate. Well, you know, you want to build a bridge, go ahead and build it. My, you get the permit. My or thought not. is the same as yours. Say so listen, you all in and if you guys not us. I, my my personal feeling is. We don't own the property. But if you can get a building permit to replace that bridge, more power to you. Yeah, right. this yeah, way, yeah, hey, we let them go to the county, let them go whatever it is. We can go through just to dredge yeah. So go ahead. Go to the county and say, we want to tear this bridge down, we want to make a new bridge. You know, why this way, yeah, yeah, why don't say that? That? You know, but, but I'm just saying they can't get a building permit because the people that own it don't exist anymore. And it's not you coming up real now. Exactly. I mean, right now we're running interference and you're blaming us for running interference. Yeah. So you know, if you can build the bridge, if you can get a permit and do things legally, go right in. It has nothing to do with us. And I, I mean, I, that's my, that, does that sound logical? It sounds very logical to me. I, I get it. I told them, come, Donald, I spoke to Donald. Donald said, have them come in and sit and talk with them. So, yeah. so, so, I've invited them several times. But I can't, I can't see it. I can't. Yeah. He's supposed to be coming this week, and he's supposed to contact you to set up the meeting. We'll see, okay. we'll see what happens. I'll, uh, I'll make a note to contact you. Okay. All right. We, we, I mean, everybody's in agreement that that makes the amount of sense. Take us out of the equation. We can't get in the equation, Damn it. and we're already out of it. So yeah, they, they can help solve it too by trying whatever avenues they have, and we'll right. continue. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll continue down the road of of you know trying to quiet title, but that's a long process, and we'll keep doing it if we get one. We get title if they haven't found a way to do it, and we become owners of it. Obviously, we want it properly. It's that that simple. Yes, David. On that uh, property, uh, who owns the three feet? Does Yuko own it, or does each association own that? Oh, on that three. side. On that side of the well, room. I don't think it's Yuko. If it's if it's each association, each wow. association. is it? Other oh, each declaration. Has at the end of it the original survey that yeah. shows the outline of the property. And that's why I always go sure over right. to see where we stop, where Yuko starts, where the easement around the lake starts. It's that's all spelled out on a very clear uh, 
Yeah. 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 If you look at the if you look at the property appraiser's map, yeah. um, that's, 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 not re, that's not reliable. It's reliable enough for us. But okay. there's, there's a, <laughs> at, at the county commissioner's office, there's a there's a souped up version right. that has overlays, and we we, we you want to have right. Yeah. See, I thought that was Yuka. But uh, I could be wrong. Be, but I'm but it's check. part of it is. Part of the piece that is, this piece that isn't is weird. But now you get to the actual uh the actual canal. If you go straight across the line, you'll see a number of parcels lined up like water one after the other, and it's Century Utilities, which is a default company that was owned by that those parcels were supposed to be conveyed to Yuko when we took over the waterway, but they never were. Yeah. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is if you go a little bit north of there, then you have what what appears to be an ancient roadway easement called the 10th Street Extension. It was a road that was never built. Um, when you click on that box, and that's a single box that goes straight across the property, nothing comes up. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing I could find in Palm Beach County where nobody's paying. The, I mow the lawn, but I don't pay taxes on it. Then you go with a little little further, depending on when you want any line, which is the front homes. You also have a city of West Palm Beach property, right? Um, yeah, so that's what you got going on there. I'm going to take a look at this map real quick, just to, for discussion purposes. Um, I can't see it. I'm going to try to be as quick as I can. Oh, here's another problem. Um, that canal is basically a it is a border between two water water districts. Um, we're in we are just literally by inches into into Lake Worth drainage district, and we approach Lake Worth drainage district. And said, "Can you dredge this for us?" Absolutely not. There on here. Um, and then if you go three inches this way, you're on to the Next, and I don't remember the name of that one because it's not us. So, um, all right, so let me look at this map. Why would anybody want to judge me? Why do you think we're going to make a green sir? Yeah, I'm trying to think about that. No, no, that's not it. There's another drink. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, it's like North Palm something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Are there elevational uh, problems as well? One yes. side of the canal to the other? Yes. You can tell because the signs, the signs that I put up years ago, you know, uh, 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 dead end signs, things like that. Over the years, they go like this. That's not the wind doing that. Yeah. That's the that's the ground moving. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just explain that to me. To All right, so Walker Street. Um, so if I click in here, I click to the next one. <coughs> I think it's you go. Did you? I thought it's actually in Paul Kirk Street Mall. Do you go? That portion of Paul Yeah. I'm yeah. bigger portion. <laughs> so, or it's part of that no man land. <laughs> no, the no man. Oh, no, that's the separate yeah, no man yeah. land and the Yuko property yeah. are, the, are the central yeah. utility part. Right, right. right. Yeah. I, I think we're on the. I think Ron's mm -hmm. moving forward at this point is to use the uh, capture the tax certificates for all of those parcels, and then eventually we would we would come to own them. Um, we're going to see what another lawyer says and that specializes in land use in a couple of days. So that's all I got on that. Okay. That's yeah. enough. Wow. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's okay. yeah. It's, yeah. You got to put another hydrogen about it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I tried to make uh, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if Yuko does own that property, and if an easement or a sale would go through, that would have to go through the delegate assembly. I would say anything of this. this yeah, yeah. I would say anything of this size would have to go to the Where am I? I mean, this isn't. This isn't a couple of cameras. This is a big deal. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, the first issue, if I'm curious about this, is the safety of, of, yeah. of the whole situation. You know, convenience is, is certainly no question. It's much convenient for the for the parishioners there. You know, so it's just something that's not. I mean, I mean it's one area that it's not going to be a fast revolution. Right? Originally, we thought yeah. we sent the WPRF slack, their legal team, 
gotten away with it. They advised us to go for a political solution. Yeah. And we got no way with that. We sat with them. Okay. And the commissioner, all the departments, they're not you know, of a mind to help. So now we're at, do we want to, one way or the other, obtain ownership of this thing that we need to own to fix? Um, here's the thing. Once we do own it, now we're talking about a million plus of unit owning money to dredge it. Which case, but, we got to bring this to the Delegate Assembly. No, it's, it's, yeah, even, even, even though it's a no-brainer. But I, my, my thought is, let's say that we do own it. Okay. Would we have the right to what's going on? Portion that part of the bridge to another entity? Would do we sell it? That's what how, do you, how do you how do you how do you break it up? If we're conveying any property that belongs to the unit owners to another it's entity, easement. we've we got still, okay. we've got we still have we would ease it. You ease it. We have to go to the Oh, absolutely. I'm not saying that. It's so this condition of property. I I understand that. But now we, you bring it to the delegates and the delegates say no. Now we have a community problem. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, but you know, it's one thing to say we'll give you we'll give you 10 feet of God and you can do whatever you want. But I'm just saying that it's not a, like Donald said, this is not a solution that's gonna happen overnight. We know and, that. and some people want instant gratification, right, Jerry? They want it tomorrow. Well, listen, you know, I'm working on all that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And we're getting ready to talk to another attorney. Okay, so I wish we could fix it quick. We can. Yeah. Yeah. Could you just say, you know, I wish you don't have this. Let's go to Congress. I don't know. Look at all the mess. Seriously, look at all the mess. So, I, yeah. No, I, I'm looking at it. We now own it. We now go to the mm -hmm. delegate assembly and say, listen, we need a million and a half dollars to fix this. And they say, okay, go ahead and do it. And now we come back and say, oh, by the way, we're going to ease part of this to another entity that you just paid a million and a half dollars to fix it. They're not going to be. Yeah, to it. You are not to wow. Yeah, but it also I mean, it take the money. You gotta go one step. Yeah. 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 And then you can explain as we go along so they can understand. That's why I mean, look at the road. They really didn't understand. We said, let's get, you know. My, my step right now would be to have our attorney send a letter to the temple and say, if you guys can get a permit to fix or repair or update, it's all yours. Because we don't own it. I know, but, you know, don't know. Don't but they're blaming us for preventing them from doing it. They're blaming them from doing it. It's all yours. You can't put anything in writing like that because if they went ahead and they did this, you go talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Because it takes a time if that's conveyed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it. It's presumptive to say, just by us saying, you guys can get a permit. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. But if you're telling that we don't own it, we don't own it. There's different entities that own it. We're trying to settle this. You want to do this now. If you can get a permit to do whatever you want to do, that's give it a risk. It's my opinion. It's my opinion. No problem. It's not a problem. Who knows? The 300 pound elephant. If you ever get a dredge, that they would even accept a bridge to go across that. Yeah, exactly. They're going to go for that. Right. Believe me, nobody went for permits to build that bridge. I don't think it met any kind of code even then. Right. It's basically a sandbagged bridge, like yeah. they build in the yeah. army to go over, and they left it that way. Um, yeah. Move to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but it was very nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in Germany. Sorry.